Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a rolling transition effect, kind of like a slot machine effect. So I have four clips laid out on my timeline, and I want to add that little rolling shutter in between each of them. So the way to create this effect is in between these cuts, I'm going to place an adjustment layer on top of them and begin working. So I'll go to my project media bin, I'll go to file, new, adjustment layer, and then I'll drag that in between over top of the two clips, and then zoom in here and cut it down to size so there's just a few frames in between each clip. This way I can work on both of the clips and in between them rather than having to apply the effects onto each end of the clip. So now I want to open up my effects panel on the right hand side and I want to search for an effect called offset. If you can't find it, it should be under the video effects folder under the distort folder. So I want to click and drag this effect on top of the adjustment layer. And then we're going to begin working with a few keyframes. So the offset effect, it just lets you shift the center of the clips either horizontally or vertically or both. And we can take advantage of this and only need to create two keyframes. So if I click this button here, it'll reset it. So I'll use my arrow keys and for this example, I'll just move five frames away from the center to the left. So here we're going to make our first point and this is just going to be toggle animation and make a keyframe because we want it to be at its default point. Then I'm going to take my timeline and move it to where I want the transition to end. So if I start from the center, I'll do five arrow keys or frames to the right. And this is where we're going to create how many spins we want to do. So first you want to decide if you want to do a horizontal spin or a vertical spin. In this case, I'll do the vertical spin. That's kind of the effect I like, kind of like a slot machine effect. So the default y-axis position is 540. And you can see when I start dragging this to the right, it brings the center of the clip down and kind of repeats or warps itself. So if I go all the way over to about 15 or 1600, then you can see the clip would have flipped over itself one time. So keep this in mind. Let's say I wanted it to go two times. That's two and then three times, that's three. So let's just do four times. So that's four spins. So that leaves us right around four, eight, 60. If you want, you can use the up and down arrow keys to get exact and make sure there's no edges still on the clip and it's exactly back at the starting point and it should automatically have created that second keyframe. Now what we're gonna do just to make sure that we didn't mess anything up is create another keyframe here at blend with original move over one and then blend with original 100%. So as soon as it stops spinning, it kind of disappears and make sure it goes away. So let's see what that looks like. So you can see four spins is a pretty good starting point for a fast spin transition. Now in order to smooth out this effect, we're just gonna add a quick directional blur and add some keyframes to that. So in my effects menu, I'm gonna search for blur and I should find one in the video effects blur and sharpen folder called directional blur. So I'm gonna click and drag this onto my adjustment layer and then I should see it pop up in the effects panel. And then I'm gonna to go to the middle of the clip, so exactly where the cut is. And I'll hit the little stopwatch icon to turn on the animate keyframes. That'll create a keyframe in the center. And then I wanna turn the blur length up to something like 70. So that'll give us a decent blur that'll add to that illusion of motion. Now I wanna to go to the start of where it started rolling, turn it to zero, and then go to the end where it finishes and turn it to zero once again. And you can see that'll give us a smooth rolling transition effect that slams back to center. Now if we wanted to do a horizontal roll, I'll show you how you can easily switch it to be horizontal or vertical. So let me copy this adjustment layer. I'll press Command C. I'll make sure my track two is highlighted because that's where I wanna paste it and then I'll paste it over this other transition between two clips. I'll make sure my keyframes are centered, so I'll move the adjustment layer. And then if I wanna switch things to be horizontal, what I would do is take this keyframe, so I'll move over to this keyframe, and then press this reset button. That'll bring us back to normal. And then instead of moving the Y parameter, we're gonna move the X parameter over a bunch of times. So that's one, two, three. Let's do three for this one. So right at the end here, I can use my arrow keys and we've got three. And then just switch the direction of the directional blur to be 90 degrees. 
And this is what that looks like. So that's how to create that rolling shutter effect in Premiere. I'm definitely going to be going over how to create presets and going a little bit more in detail on how presets work and things to keep in mind in a future tutorial. So subscribe to my channel if you want to stay tuned for that and check out all the other videos on my channel for some more Premiere Pro and other creative videos. If you guys want to follow me on social media at Show on Twitter, Instagram to keep up with what I'm doing. I definitely appreciate it. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.